Hello and a uh, very warm welcome to you. My name is Neil Pinkett. I'm the proprietor of Bath Cars and uh, this car is BP05CXF. It's a Vauxhall Vectra 1.8 design model, five door hatchback, uh, metallic silver as you can see, and it's the dual fuel LPG car from factory. Uh, this means this car is, LP is uh, congestion charge exempt and also benefits from running on liquefied petroleum gas which retails at about 49p a litre and you'll find that's about uh, less than half price of ordinary petrol at the moment. Now we have seen uh, low oil prices recently which meant that uh, petrol had come down but again now petrol zooming away and one of these will save you plenty of bucks. I've been running one of these now for best part of uh, three years. There's my car, it's an Astra. Uh, it has got the same engine as this one, it's about 120 brake horsepower and uh, I'm a keen fan of this LPG, it does mean that a little trip to the shops or any running about that you do all means that your uh, fuel price, your fuel running costs are a lot lower and if you live in central London uh, or you have to go into central London you'll save approximately uh, £8 a day on your congestion charge. Uh, now this one's come directly from Flowgas uh, which is the main uh, supplier of uh, LPG filling stations. Uh, it's been run by one of their uh, sales reps. Um, it's a 05 registration uh, 2005 with 91,800 miles on it and uh, it's pretty clean and tidy and the only mark to the car is a small tiny tiny crease just to the uh, passenger door there but bar for that it's a uh, very tidy small uh, stone chips to the front leading edge of the bonnet but very minor again car's got front fog lights uh, very good spec actually uh, nice alloy wheels uh, color coordinated bumpers wing mirrors all that sort of thing um, air conditioning and uh, a dab radio actually a DAB digital radio which uh, I've been listening to as I've been cleaning this car it's brilliant reception it has a slightly bigger aerial on the back and DAB radio means you can select lots of different uh, radio stations and providing you've got DAB signal you'll get uh, an excellent sound quality. So um, in the boat, in the boot, uh, I just need to um, pop the boot actually, it's got remote locking with both keys, rear wash wiper, there are both your keys there. So you just press the uh, open button, press it a couple of times and that will allow you to pop the boot. Actually in fact, there's a specific boot button there for it. So. Now the tank in these is uh, underneath the uh, carpet there, it's a 42 litre tank, it's actually slightly bigger but uh, these only fill to about 42. And uh, we had a chap um, once who kept a spreadsheet on one of these and he got 300 miles from one tank. I think he was being very delicate with the throttle but he did get 300 miles with one tank. That was on a different car, not this one, but uh, certainly you should expect that similar sort of mileage. There's a spare wheel with um, a tool kit underneath it and the locking wheel nuts are present and correct. Spare set of number plates and a set of carpet mats. Unfortunately the driver's one's a little worn. The baggage cover is present and correct. The boot lid, all the struts work nicely. It's had the uh, badges taken off the back there. I'm not quite sure why but uh, they're not there. Let's run, the, run around the tyres. So this corner's got a Bridgestone, practically brand new. This one here again another Bridgestone, practically brand new front fog lights and all the light lenses and the glass are all in very good order not chipped or cracked again another Bridgestone really good order these tyres are expensive tyres actually and they're not cheap uh, that's a brilliant tyre as well so bumpers are all nice and clean and tidy there's no scrapes or dings or dents to the bumpers actually a couple of little minor marks there but really very little again I'll zoom in there but uh, obviously just uh, backed into a wall very minor minor marks about as good as you're going to get I think really and uh, all the brakes clutch cruise control fingertip control on the hi-fi and uh, suspension are all beautiful drives very very nicely on test drive I found this car to be absolutely spot on let's go and have a look at the history okay welcome to the uh, history section then for the Vectra for starters there's the locking wheel nuts and all the manuals and owners books including the audio CDC 40 Opera for the DAB radio, uh, dual LPG repairers, LPG supplement booklet, it's all there. Uh, we've got the V5, owner's V5, showing just one keeper from new Lex vehicle leasing. Uh, they were the lease company who leased it to Flowgas. It's an alternative fuel car on the log book and it's a Vectra designed dual fuel 2005 
registered 08 silver is the color and the uh, 155 grams per kilometer then we've got the uh, service book showing stamps at 21,000, 43,000, 61,000 and 80,000. Uh, basically uh, these cars need servicing about every 20k due to the fact they run on LPG. The uh, service printout is a beautiful item. It shows you what's been done to the vehicle all the way through it. Hydraulic uh, brake fluid change at 43, cam belt done at 61,776 pads at the rear, uh, windscreen wiper blades, and we'll go over to this sheet here, it's got more recent things, i.e. a radiator at 84k, uh, pads on the rear again at 84, discs on the rear at 84, discs on the front at 84, spring torsion bar at 81, brake pads, uh, brake lever in the rear, 80,000, it says parking brake lever, sorry I should say, at 80k, 80,000 service, uh, bum, 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 just moving through it. Found it really tires, wiper blades again. So uh, the cam belt was done at 61k, so you don't need to have that done until about 120 or so, 125 would do fine. And there are then two booklets for your LPG filling stations, one from Flow Gas and one from Auto Gas. We'll chuck those in for you. And of course, two keys. So there we are, nice history, just as we like to see them. That's about as perfect, and they don't come better than that. So let's return back to the car. Okay, welcome back then. You can see 07 is the tax expiry date, so you're going to get that tax with the car. Now, the car has been fully balloted inside by myself. It's a sweltering hot day here in Limby Stoke. I've absolutely sweated buckets today doing this, but it has come up very nicely indeed. No horrible odours or smells. Three inertia reel safety belts in the back, three headrests, and a centre armrest as well car is very tidy pockets in the back of the seats all immaculate very very tidy indeed no cigarette burns to report floor well and pedal rubbers all in good order seat very comfortable not uh, broken at all in any respect what we'll do now is we'll jump in the car and we'll just uh, run you through how the LPG works so key in the ignition 91,938 is the miles okay the gauge is a dual gauge it represents both petrol and LPG. We can see we've nearly got a full tank of LPG in there. And the switch is just down here. I'll show how it all works, it's very easy. Just click it over to petrol if you want to run on petrol. And we'll leave it on LPG if you want to run on LPG. There's plenty of LPG and there's plenty of petrol in this car. Almost a full tank of LPG and I think there's about half a tank of petrol. There's a Nokia hands-free kit in the car as well as the DAB radio, as I said. Okay. Fingertip control, hi-fi, cruise control, the aircon blows nice and cold, it's been checked out. Okay, spectacles case, alarm system, reactor light rear view mirror, and uh, I think there's, um, just turn the fan down, uh, auto wipers. Center armrest, all very tidy. Gear knob, nice condition. So it's the gator there. The clutch is spot on. Can't fault the clutch there. Electric windows, front fogs as I've said, pockets. Very, very tidy. Can't beat this one as good as you're gonna get, I think. What we'll do then is we'll just jump out. Last wander around the car. The engine's been cleaned as well. I've been retailing LPG Vauxhalls for many, many years now. And uh, they do tend to give uh, the least issues. They have a Nikam Coltec kit on them, which is factory fit on Vauxhalls, Fords and uh, Volvos. The alloy wheels are in very good order. See that one just uh, needs a small clean, but uh, there's not any curbing or any horrible marks to the alloys. They really are in spot on condition. New number plates have been fitted by myself and the old setter in the boot. If you want to tow a caravan or a little trailer and fit yourself a tow bar on it, you can do. But I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching. Any questions, give me a call. My number's at the end of the film here. Bye-bye.